All right, so here we have Racing Turtles, and if I hit save and run, you could see I draw my starting line, finish line, and I have my turtles running across the screen. And so the question that you might be asking yourself is how do I get orange um, to be printed as the winner? You could see that he crosses the finish line first. And uh, the answer is, is that what we have here to make the turtles race across the screen is a for loop and every iteration of the for loop, each turtle, starting with the blue one, moving on down, is moved forward a random um, number between you know 10 to 30, or whatever it is that you set it up at. So the blue one moves forward a random number, then the pink one moves forward, and so on as we worked our way down to the green one. And then after they move forward just a little bit, then the for loop iterates again, and it starts by moving the blue one forward a little bit and the next drill, the next drill, the next drill, working its way down to the green one. That process repeats until we have one turtle that crosses this finish line and then our program stops. How do we make that stop? Right. Well, it's going to require um, an if statement. And so we've talked about if statements in Carol when we, um, when we touched on that topic um, during the first week. And the way you write it in, in Python is you say if and you say some variable, right? And you put an operator, like greater than, and you say 160, and you put a semicolon. And then whatever you put in here, like if you have a print, um, it's going to print that number if this is true. All right. And so uh, we don't want x. We don't want some random variable. What we want to compare is the x position of each of our turtles. And to access the x position of each of our turtles, we're not going to use x, we're going to use t, right? The, or whatever variable your turtle is in. So we say t dot x core. And x core is a special function that returns the x coordinate of this turtle. And so if our finish line is at 160, then this condition will catch if the turtle has passed the finish line. And so if the turtle has passed the finish line, what do we want to do? We want to break out of the loop. And so when you say break, it breaks out of the nearest uh, loop, nearest for loop, or nearest while loop. And that's what we want to do. Not only do we want to do that, we also want to save the turtle in a variable. Right? Why? Because we want to be able to print out orange wins. How do you know that the turtle is orange unless you save this turtle, the winner? in a variable, like let's say winner, the winner variable, so that after you break out of the loop, you can say something like winner dot color, right? Because if you do winner dot color, it's going to get the color of the winner turtle, the orange turtle, and it's going to be able to, you, you can use this function or method to print out the color of the turtle who won, right? But you won't be able to do that unless you save the winner. So you say winner equals t. Right? Because we know t1 because this condition was met based on the t's x position. And so we save the turtle inside of winner. So after we break out of the loop, we can say print or write winner.color. All right, so that's the idea. Now how do we actually code it? Well, looking here in this for loop, right? What's happening? She has it running for uh, you know 60 iterations, and we move forward a random number, right, on each of them. So a random number from one to 25, and so she has it set up a bit differently than um, than it you know ideally the way it should be set up. What should happen? She has the checks all here at the end after all the turtles have been moved forward. Right. But what we want to do is we want to check right after the A turtle moves forward, check the A turtle. Right after the B turtle moves forward, check the B turtle, and so on. Right. So why is that important? Why is that different? It's because after A crosses the finish line, it's going to set the winner as the red turtle. Right? She, she set it to the word red, um, but I would probably set it to the turtle so that later you can call turtle.color um, and then it breaks so it breaks and it doesn't do any of the other forwards meaning all the other turtles stop once the A turtle crosses the finish line 
And so if I do this same check on, right after I move the B, right after I move C, D, E, F, and G, and H, then it's going to ensure that we don't have two winners. It's, it'll, it will ensure that after the orange turtle moves forward, the green turtle is not going to move forward and cross the finish line. And then after that happens, it's going to check. It's going to check right after it moves each turtle forward. So that's the way you want to set it up. Um, if you do that, you notice that you have to declare your winner variable outside of your if statement. Python does not like having variables declared inside of an if statement. So declare it out here. You can set it equal to an empty string, right? So two double quotes, nothing inside of it. And then, and then use it down here. So finally, after you break out of the, of the loop that races the turtles, then you can use the right method to print out the color of the winning turtle. Right? And so that's one way that you can make um, the race stop once the, once the first place finisher finishes the race.